Okay, uh, I got a card trick here. And, uh, it's a good one. Okay, all you do is uh, tell us back here. Do I tell everyone to stop? Stop. Right there. Take a look at that card. Uh. Mm. Got it. Got it. Good, okay. Now I need you to keep the camera. I'll show you something neat, okay? This is deck of codes. It's a very ordinary deck of codes. Watch, okay? Codes, you can predict what your code was going, okay? These cards, right here, you ready? Here they go. One, two. There you go. Very nice. This uh, one is called Chicken Bones. And, uh, for reasons we'll get into later. <laughs> but here's his deck. You take out. What I did was I took out like nine codes, okay? I took out ten of clubs. And you could do it with a brand new deck in brand new deck order. I prefer not to, though. It looks more realistic to me. Take out nine random codes. That's what I like to do. And plus that. Ten of clubs, which is your forest code, and what you do is you f you face up, do a ribbon spread, which is that a nice even one, and you take a long piece of tape and you lay it on top of the 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 code. Okay, you lay it in, in like uh, no, pretend this is no tape. Here's our tape. You rip off the tape and you lay it down just like that, coming off on each end, okay? Then you put your hand across it to flatten the tape out, okay? And then you pick it up, you lift it up, it looks like an electric deck, and uh, then you lay it face up. And it's gonna look like this with the tape on it, okay? And then what you do with a big black marker, you just write, you write ten of clubs in a thick black marker. And that's a quick way to do it. If you want to go back and make it really nice like this one is, because if you just write it and you spread it out, it looks a lot thinner. But if you go back and extend each codes ink you'll find you get a much better showing each time you do it so you go back and you extend them about twice the uh, length that way you get a much nicer showing and then the cool thing about that is you fan the codes this way you got uh, the prediction if you turn the codes over this way and you fan the deck You've got a completely normal deck. And I'll go into the handling. You start with the force code right on top. Oh wait, uh, I also mentioned that uh, you took out nine codes in the beginning. And then you wrote it on. You use those as the dividers. Because I put two codes onto the top. That way you don't get the force code right on top of that. And then you thumb it off and then they see ink. So you put those in between. I put uh, like two codes in between... Uh, each word. So there's another two codes between those words, another two codes between that word, and extra codes at the end. That is to space it out. So you put the force code on top, you do a riffle force, not the, not the normal riffle force, but you riffle down, you try not to, to flash the little movie on the side, but you riffle down until they say stop, you turn over and thaw off the top code, you clean there, but you're not you're usually not as clean though. Usually you got some ink showing. And then you put the deck right back on. That's just the top code for So take a look at it. You can present this however you want. But uh, I just... As a prediction. More, I, I, I fan the codes out showing blank. Okay. Here's what I do. Sometimes I use the code turn over, sometimes not. I just take it. I turn it over. Making that TP thing, scoop it up, 
and you turn this way. Because if you just if you just fan it, turn it over, scoop, and turn it this way, then you'll just get another bike. But uh, so you fan it, turn it over, scoop, turn like that, square, spread, and you know. That's it. You don't even need a real fancy presentation because it's so powerful. And there's the truck. Why is it called chicken bones, Adam? It's called chicken bones because we were sitting around. We had some chicken wings. We ate them all. We ate a lot of chicken wings. <laughs> and then there's just a bowl of chicken bones. Mm. And I said, we're not going to bed until we invent one more trick. I looked over at the bowl of chicken bones. I said, we're going to name it Chicken Bones. That's going to be the name of Chicken Bones. And, and we and came up with this beauty. And I was forced to have the beast name of Chicken Bones. And thus, Chicken Bones. Yeah, Chicken Bones was created.